I'm up at Nickwell Motorhomes and they've just started saying this Canals range. This one is a Box Life 600 and they're a rather intriguing motorhome with some rather neat features. The most obvious, I think, is the colour. You can see they're doing some really funky colours with these, which is brilliant rather than use a white or grey. Alloy wheels on this one as well. We're going to take a walk around the outside and I'm going to show you some of the interior features which I think are, are quite clever. So out here it's things like this is the, uh, the door for the cassette for the toilet. So that's down inside there. That one down there is a drain for the water system. If we come around here, that one allows you to plug in and get 240 power into the vehicle if you're at a site that's got it. But this is where it starts to get clever because we've got the back doors here. And if we open this up, you'll see that it's actually got a rather excellent storage area in the back. Normally with motorhomes, of course, it's all beds and seats and so on. With this one, it's quite practical because you can use this for moving stuff around. If you want this, of course, as a bed, you can do it by using this one up here. So this, there's just a little release lever here, and that then drops down into place like that. And you'll see how that works when we go inside in a second, but it makes that a really dual purpose area. That's rather clever. Let's close that one back up. And we'll head on around this side. Water filler is on here, it's lockable, which is a sensible idea, of course. And then this is where we access the interior from. So we'll slide that one back. And then this step is controlled by a little button down here. And then we go. Now we'll start up here at the front. You've got these two seats. You can see how they swivel around. Of course, they turn for when you're actually driving the vehicle. One thing I noticed, which is quite neat, is up here, it's actually got a little head up display. That's for things like speed and information like that. And over here, you've got your GPS navigation and also reversing camera is on there as well. So you can see what you're doing when you're maneuvering the vehicle. Power sockets in here as well. So that one is the old traditional style 12 volt. And then you've got USB on here as well. This one's got the manual gearbox. It's a Fiat base. And this one's got the 140 horsepower engine, which is a slight upgrade on the standard, which is 130. These have got the drop down arms, which is a nice feature for when you're doing long distance driving. And then as we head on back, this is very neat. You've actually got proper seatbelts here, so four people can travel in this one. But what you can also do is there's a little catch down here. And you can drop that one out. You lose a little bit of the passageway, but it means that if you've got two people sat here, they're not quite so shoulder to shoulder. And the other interesting thing about this is there's actually isofix mounts, so you can put child seats on there. You've got a table here and this also folds out. You can see there's a leaf underneath. That looks like it's a bit scratched. In fact, it's not. What that is is a protective film that's over it because the vehicle's brand new. So that's just to make sure that it stays absolutely perfect. There's some quite funky lighting in here. So down underneath here, up inside these storage areas, that kind of thing. That's all rather neat. And then over on this side is the kitchen. So there's a two burner hob underneath there. And if you look over here, we've got things like the heating system is controlled from here. This is all switching for the lights. Again, sockets underneath here, so a 12 volt socket there and a 240 volt socket. And that's when you're plugged in to the 240 power from outside. And also up here is the control system. So you can monitor things like your battery and your water tank contents gauge and so on. That's all controlled from there. Also, our water system and lighting and so on can also be overridden from there. And if we carry on from here, there's a sink underneath that one, as you can see. More funky lighting down underneath here. And then this is nice big drawers, all very practical. And they're soft clothes as well, which is always a nice feature. Like so. But one thing you might not expect in this area, I didn't point out the fridge, I should do that just as we're going past it. There we go. Fridge is inside there and a bit more storage up in places like that. And also in here. But the thing I wanted to show you is this, because it's actually got, you see how it's got this section in the roof like this? The reason for that is because if we pull this, that is an entire drop down bed and it just drops down as easily as that. There's a ladder then that slots into these two fellas so you can get up into it very easily. But that's brilliant because it's a decent sized double bed but it means that when you're not using it, it's really, really easy to just drop that back up against the ceiling. Very simple, very quick, very easy to use. I think that's great. Let's head on back a little bit further. So back here then is the 
Toilet compartment, there's also a shower in here, that actually pulls out from here. So if you want to have a shower, you can do, and in fact there's a curtain you can see over here that comes around, stop getting everything wet, and a bit of storage then down there. And then back here, this is the drop down bed that I was talking about. So those are the back doors and we had those open earlier. This bed was up here. So this is all a big storage area. When you're using it as a motorhome, drop that down. Big double bed right there. I think that's fantastic. Really nicely done. And again, funky lighting up in places like this. You've got storage tucked away as well up here so you can get things away. And there's a skylight up in the top that opens and you've got blinds on those back windows that drop down. In fact, there's blinds on all of these windows. If I come back here, you can see this is an opening window here, and this has blinds that come up like this or down to make a fly screen. I think they've packed a huge amount into this. I even like things like the flooring. I think it's done just such a great job of it. That's fantastic. So there we go. Let me know what you think of that one. This is the first one of these that I've seen and I'm rather taken with it. Huge thanks to Knitwell Motorhomes for organising this tour for me and huge thanks to you guys as ever for watching. We'll catch you on another one of these very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.